<clears throat> okay, so I'm down here in my other shop. My toolbox, you've probably seen that in another video or pictures. I don't know. Anyway, well, um, pit bike, pit bike I'm working on. This is the, uh, the, the clutch cover, clutch adjustment cover. It goes on the clutch side case of a pit bike. And you take the two screws out and pull this bad boy off. And that's, you know, in behind this where you adjust your clutch. But this thing is fucking cracked. Mm, it's plastic. Mm, whatever. I'm not happy. I don't like it. Um, so, I figure, I found them online. T-Bolt USA. They're like 19 bucks plus $37 to ship it. And I'm sorry, this little 4-inch piece of plastic, which, you know, okay, T-Bolt sells them out of cast aluminum, but I'm sorry, that little piece of cast aluminum is not worth $57 to me. So, <clears throat> I, uh, I rigged up this little arbor here. Real simple. It's just, you know, a piece of fucking conduit with a fucking flat bar welded on it. And two holes that match to take a piece of uh, half inch thick leg sand. And uh, we're spinning her down on the lathe here. Loads of fun. So, you know, what the hell? Let's give her shit. Which way is we going? Wrong way. Sure, you don't want to go. Hey. Just like that. Yeah. Auto feed. Not bad for a 58 South Bend. 500 bucks. Sure can't go wrong considering it's got auto feed both ways. And a quick change gearbox. She's old, but it still works. Back 1958, I was born in 1981, and I think I'm fucking old. Not as old as this fucking old beast. And I sure don't work as hard as this thing still does. <laughs> Alright, enough for this. Okay, so. I, uh, I took the cover here, and, well, fucking made a new one. See the holes are kind of sunk on this one here, like they're on this one, and, and it all lines up. There we go. Oh, sorry. Nice little finish on it, too. Turned out pretty good. <clears throat> I got them all taped up there. I don't want the covers coming off so they don't get all scratched, but I just gotta take them home now. Put a little radius on them. On the router table. See my little arbor there. Spun that one up. I made two because I need two. Uh, who knows? You guys want to clear Lexan clutch adjustment cover? Maybe let me know. And I'll spin one up for you. Probably shouldn't be using half inch though. Half inch, I got to put a radius on it to make it look right. If I use three eighths inch thick, that'd be perfect. If it was three eighths because this is just, you know, a hair thicker there. Hair, <laughs> little little thicker than quarter inch. It's about three eighths. Okay. 
ANC. It's a little more than halfway. Three-eighths thick piece would work perfect. Anyway, now we're going to make some spacers real quick. So I want to put that nut under there. Bolt my foot pegs under the skid plate. I'm not, but I need a riser that high. So we're going to make it out of the ends of this old aluminum door handle. Yeah. Okay. More to come. There we go. <clears throat> my spacer's done here. So, uh, yeah. Not so bad. They came out pretty good, I would say. But one and three eighths. And when you stack this on top of here, there you go. About the same right there. That's pretty damn good. I think. I think that'll work out nicely. So, yeah. Yeah. Got them done. Got my little covers done. Now I'm going to go put it on. So, a little bit more. <laughs> 